Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Handprinted and today I have a quick fix for you if you are using Terms Burton pins and tabs. We use Terms Burton pins and tabs when we are, usually when we're doing relief printing and we use them as a registration system to get your paper to go in the right place for your block every time. If you haven't used Terms Burton's before and you'd like to know more about them, we made a video all about how to use them. So just go back through and find that one. When we're using Terms Burton pins, we stick our pins onto a board and our tabs onto the paper. Now we usually recommend that you use parcel tape for sticking the pins onto the board. It's gonna hold them down nice and firmly so they don't move about. And masking tape to stick the tabs to your paper so that then these can be removed afterwards. But occasionally, when you remove the tape, it can leave marks on your paper or rip it, which can be a problem, especially when we're using thin papers. So there are a couple of things that you can do to stop this. Firstly, the simplest thing to do, if you're having problems with the masking tape damaging your paper, is to cut your paper a little longer. So instead of having your paper the size you would like it to finish, if you cut it a little longer, you can raise your pins up and then place your paper in the right place. Stick your tabs on. And then when you're finished with your print, you simply trim off the excess where the masking tape might have damaged the paper. You can still reuse your tabs each time. Now this is fine if you've got excess paper and space on your board to do so, but that's not always the case. And if we're using a thin paper like this Japanese shoji or something similar that's a little bit more delicate, maybe a handmade paper that can't handle the masking tape, there's another way that we can get them get the masking tape off the paper without damaging it. So if I were to peel off this masking tape, it's going to start to pull off filaments from my Japanese paper and can cause damage. But what we can do is we can use a hairdryer to heat up the tape and it makes it peel off much more easily. Here we go, I've got no damage on this top edge of my paper and you can see where the masking tape was peeled off without using heat. It started to damage the paper a little on this side. So there we have it, there's two ways to deal with the masking tape on your printer when you're using Terms Burton pins and tabs. The pins and tabs are available on our website as well as the two different kinds of tape. Head over to handprinted.co.uk for more. Happy printing!